Hello, I'm Brent Adams, North Carolina personal injury trial lawyer practicing throughout North Carolina. And this is one of a series of videos in which I teach you how you can settle your property damage on your own and without a lawyer. And the topic of this video is depreciation. What effect does depreciation have on the amount that you can collect for damage to your property, to your car? And the answer is it has a lot. Your car is not as worth, is not worth as much as it was before the collision. Because if you've got one car, if you've got two cars that are absolutely equal in terms of their, their appearance and their performance, and one car has been in, in a wreck and damaged in a wreck and the other one has never been in a wreck, obviously you cannot sell the car that has been wrecked for as much as the car that's never been wrecked. And the difference in those two values is sometimes called depreciation. That is, the fact that your car has been in a wreck depreciates the value of your car, even though it may be repaired properly, and you're entitled to be paid for that damage. The repair bill is some evidence of the damage to your car, but it's not everything. Because if the insurance company pays every dime of your repair bill, and if your car is damaged, if your car is repaired properly, Still, you haven't been paid the full value of your car. Now, how much for depreciation? That depends. Reasonable minds can differ on that. Certainly, the newer the car, the more to the depreciation. Nevertheless, depreciation is a factor that for which you should be paid when you settle on the property damage for your car. If you have any questions about any of this, please give us a call. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Our toll-free number is 800-910-5879. So give us a call or look us up on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.